Hi, this is Megan of Megan's Creations. Today I'm going to show you some, uh, just two things you can use the stroke tool in Photoshop for. And to start off, this is a layout I made with Fun and Games by Kim B Designs and myself. And I, the first thing that I use stroke for, well I use stroke when I quality check my products and that's so that there's no jagged edges um, that the edges are smooth, especially of, of elements and templates that I've made. And then I also use Stroke to find something called Stray Pixels. And that's something you should be concerned about too. Okay, and Stray Pixels can occur when we erase things. So I have this layout and I'm thinking, what about these, um, what about these beads? Okay, let's say that um, you wanted to erase these beads because you're know, like I want them to be somewhat on the photo like I like that this one and this one are on the photo but maybe this one right in the middle of her shirt I don't like it there so you can use the eraser tool or whatever tool you use and you you try to you know erase it off and, and get it off okay and then you can think oh, okay I got it all I got it all well you can use the stroke tool and you can see, oops, there's still some there. Okay, um, so that was again. I just came to blending options. I right-clicked on the layer, or however you get to your layer options. I did blending options, and there's one down here called stroke. All right, and you can change the color of the stroke, especially if you have a red object. It might be hard to see the stroke. You can always change it to probably either a bright red or a bright blue are usually what we use. And you can make it bigger and go, oh, there is still a little bit right there. And you can say, okay, keep it on there. And then come back and, okay, I got it all. I erased it all that time. You know, that, that'd be just something I would think is the most, um, most likely option for you is if you're erasing, make sure you got it all. And then you can always go back to blending options and you just uncheck stroke and the stroke goes away. And you still have your drop shadow or whatever other effect you had on that element. Okay. Um, then the other thing I use stroke for is making picture frames. And so here's the this photo I have. Let's say I want to make a frame for it. And so um, let's go ahead and merge the photo to this rectangle area. I'm going to go ahead and clear the drop shadow layer right now and do blending options and now instead of doing a stroke on the outside I'm going to do it on the inside and however thick you want the frame you know maybe about about that it's a little skinny frame or you can make it thicker I'm doing an inside stroke because that makes these nice sharp corners if you do an outside stroke on a rectangle it rounds the corners and so I'm not sure you want a rounded corner on your frame I want sharp corners so I did an inside stroke, and it doesn't matter the color because I'm going to clip a, a paper to it anyways. Um, click OK. Now what you do is you right click on the stroke on itself, on the layer effect of stroke. And you go create layer. And now it, it's made that photo inner stroke its own layer. And I'm going to duplicate um, the photo here. All right. And then create. Um, and when I did that, it's it lost that inner stroke on the photo and so I'm gonna have to go back right click it and create a clippy mask okay so create the clippy mask back onto this photo here and now the duplicated photo I'm going to change um, I'm going to go to blending options and I'm going to go to knockout um, I don't know if you really do knock yeah you need to knock out fill opacity zero and deep okay this is the same thing we do for quick pages. Click OK and then merge the two together. And so now the, the frame is on its own layer and you can add a drop shadow to the frame. Uh, maybe not quite that deep. I'd like to do it a little shallower. It's paper. And then you just need to clip um, some paper to it and you'll be done. So I'm just going to go ahead and use um, this paper that I have here. Um, there we go. So that's it. So those are two things that I use stroke for. I use it to make custom frames and I use it to check that I've erased something when I've modified an element that came in a kit. So I hope you find this helpful and we'll see you next time.